Hey there, YouTubers! It's your girl, Nayla Toy, and I'm back with another video. Hey! <laughs> so, if you guys want to watch how I achieve this look, we're just going to get right into it. Go ahead and keep on watching. So you guys, let's go ahead and get started. So this was supposed to be a talk through. That's why you're going to see me talk through some of this video and not hear what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this look. I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. And I show that in this clip. Um, and the shades I go in with are Rustic for the crease, uh, Orange Soda for the lid, and fairy tale for the inner corner brightness. I take the first shade here and go in with the rustic in the crease. I am going to completely saturate my crease with this color. Next, I go in with orange soda on the lid. Go ahead and completely cover my lid with that shade, um, working it in and patting as I go. I have to make sure that I build this color up so that it is very visible. Um, it is a very light shade and I want it to be prominent in my look. So I went in a few times to build that color up on my eyelids until it was at my liking. All right, next up, I go into the inner tear duct with Fairy Tale. This is a shimmery gold shade. I do blend that into the orange soda um, shade that I laid down on the lid, just so that there is no um, big difference between the shades that I've laid on the lid. All right, you guys, let's get into this skin. So I'm going in with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer and then the Too Faced Foundation in the shade Butter Pecan. This is a shade that uh, Jackie Ina created with Too Faced in collaboration with them to broaden their shade range for their foundation. So I am going in with this and I'm actually going to use two different um applications for this so first i go in with a stippling brush uh, it's a flat top kind of like a kabuki styled brush and then i go in with my beauty blender to blend everything together seamlessly Okay, so here's where I go in with the Beauty Blender, just to blend over whatever I've applied with the brush, just to make sure that everything is blended seamlessly before I go in with another layer. All right, everybody, just a quick uh, input here. I realized that the foundation looks darker than the rest of my body, but that's not the case in real life. Um, the foundation actually is my complexion. Um, this is actually a shade that I can use in both the winter and the summer. I'm not really sure what's causing it to look a little darker. I think because my lighting is the uh, focus directly on my face and it's not on the part of my body that is showing. So it makes the foundation look a little darker than the rest of my body because the lighting washes out my body because the focus is my face. So those that may be watching and are saying oh her foundation's too dark it's not the case so here's where i go in with a little more foundation just around mainly my mouth and the areas where i have dark spots just to make sure that those dark spots are covered this foundation is a medium to full coverage so it does give me a very good coverage so this is amazing for a simple glam look
So I go in with a little more foundation over my nose. I have this dark line across my nose that I have no idea where it came from. Everybody asks me if I wear glasses and I'm like, dude, no, I don't wear glasses. I have no clue where this line came from. I don't know, <laughs> but it's there and it's usually a little darker. So I usually have to go in with a little bit more foundation to make sure that that is covered when I am trying to go for a full coverage look. All right, so next I go in with the ColourPop Concealer. This is their No Filter Concealer. This is actually from the first launch. So this is shade 50. I believe it's tan. Um, they have since redone the shades. So this shade is probably not that number anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I go in with this concealer and all the points that I want to be highlighted on my face. I try to keep it um, simple. Then go in with my beauty blender and blend for your life. Blend, 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 girl. Blend, 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 girl. Blend, 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 girl. Yes. So this is the Fenty Match Stick and Truffle. This is the best contour that I have come across. It's the best shade. It's not too dark and it's not too light. I absolutely love, 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 love this Match Stick for contouring. It's amazing. So everyone knows I absolutely despise using powder, but I do go in with a very little of the Laura Mercier powder on a Real Techniques blending sponge to go ahead and set my under eye. So at this point, I go in with a little setting spray. Y'all can't see that, but it's the NYX Dewy Setting Spray. I like my face to have a dewy look since I have dry skin. So I go ahead and spray that all over my face. Pretty much drenching myself in it. <laughs> this is the only way I usually set my face because I cannot use powder. If I use powder, my face is going to be cake, cake, cake. And I don't want cake face. So I went ahead and added lashes off camera and completed my under eye with the rustic and the fairy tale shades. Now let's get into this lip. So I used the Milani Naturally Chic lipstick and a brown lip liner. You can use any brown lip liner. I just used one that I had laying around from when I attended makeup school.
at this point pretty much just going in to perfect the lips once applying your lipstick i typically go back in with the lip liner if it gets lost once i have applied the lipstick so just going back in and sharpening up those edges blending everything together making sure that it flows seamlessly for a cute pout And final steps is to go in with highlight. Chow, a look is never complete without a good highlight, honey. So this is the Maybelline's highlight in molten gold. This is my favorite highlight. I have not found a highlight that highlights me better than this one. And I'm not looking for one. <laughs> So I go ahead and highlight all the high points of my face to give me that glow glow from within. I also go in and add a little to my brow bone so that I can have a little highlight going there also. All right, everybody. So this is my rendition of a simple glam look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate those that have subscribed. If you are watching and you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You ain't got to swipe your debit card, your credit card, and you ain't got to write me no check. <laughs> it's free to subscribe so go ahead and do so if you feel like this video will help any of your friends or your friends 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 or your good good girlfriends or your good 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 girlfriends girlfriends go ahead and share this video with them have them subscribe and take a look at my content again thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate the support that i have been getting on this nay madness venture and i will catch you guys in the next video